So far we've covered content, structure, appearance, and extend. Let's look at the configuration menu. Now again, only site administrators get access to this area. And so because you're super user, user number one, of course you have access to everything. You'll notice that there's a red pop-up on my screen. You may or may not have this. This is saying that the status report hasn't run and I need to just make sure my Drupal site's up to date. I'm going to ignore that for just a moment and worry about it when we get to the report screen. This particular menu gives us access to configuring all of the different aspects of our site, like site information, count settings, text formats and editors, performance issues, maintenance mode, image styles. We'll be touching on several of these as we go through our class, but for now, could you just update your site information? Click on site information, and let's change our site name to Drupalville. A great place to learn all about Drupal. One of the great things with a content management system, as I mentioned earlier, is that when I make changes like this, they change the entire site. So now whether I had one page or a thousand pages on my site, my site name across the top of every single page will be Drupalville. Boy, is that ever an improvement over static HTML. Also on this page, we get the email address, which is the from in automated emails. I can choose a different front page as well as default 403 and 404 pages. Once again, every time we make a change on a Drupal page, we have to submit, save the form because every page is a web form. Click Save Configuration. Go back to your site page. And notice your site name is Drupalville and we now have a slogan on every page of our site. We'll explore the configuration menu a lot more in later videos.